Good morning. Welcome to the Community for Conscious Living weekly live broadcast on Sunday, March 31st of 2019. The Community for Conscious Living is a community dedicated to personal transformation for universal harmony, healing the planet by making inspired changes in ourselves and in our daily lives to create a sustainable environment and a peaceful world. Today we're going to be talking about releasing guidance from misguided people. Because let's face it, by the time we are old enough to have children, we're all a bit misguided. And as long as we're in human bodies, in physical bodies, we are still human beings and we're still on this journey and we're still figuring it out, each and every one of us. So question for you, have you recognized words of wisdom that were passed to you in your life that are now those things that come up that you struggle with that feel like they're holding you back, feel like they're keeping you from having the relationship you want, from being able to step into the life purpose that you feel inside of yourself? or being able to make the money that you want to make and, you know, go for your your um, career goals. What is that for you? I have to say, um, there's been some recent inspiration in this that, that got me thinking about some of my personal things. And you'll know who you are. <laughs> But, you know, I was thinking about when some of the things that my mother told me when I was growing up, and I think the one that probably sticks with me the strongest that I kind of struggle with a little bit is my mother always told me, don't ever become dependent on a man. Don't ever get into a relationship that you can't leave. Now, this kind of tells you a little bit about <laughs> my, where my mother was. And, um, you know, my mother got married very young and had six children, and this was her life. She was very creative and intelligent and insightful and, uh, you know, a brilliant woman, really. And yet she didn't fulfill any of her own goals and dreams ever in her life, and she died at 64 um, she had me at, at 39 and died, I think, right after my 25th birthday. But she she spent her whole life married, raising children, working in jobs that were designed just to help to bring in some money to pay the bills. Yet she had that spark inside of her. So this colored a lot of her own uh, feelings and beliefs. She was trapped. I don't want to put a whole lot of words into her, but I'll tell you what she, what I felt that got transferred into me from hearing this over and over again in my life. Don't get trapped. Don't give up your dreams for relationships. Don't give up your dreams to get trapped with a husband and children something that you can't, that's going to hold you back in life. So look at me, here I am, 55 years old, and I am not married and I do not have children. And this is a voice that has been really strong in me for my whole life. You know, and and yet I know part of it is my design. If I look at my human design chart, there is a part of me that, well, for better or worse, that I enter into relationships wholeheartedly and I learn what I'm supposed to learn from that relationship and then I move on to the next thing. Like, okay, I learned what I'm supposed to learn here, what's next? And that's a part of my my, uh, astrological design, if you will, and part of my makeup. So, you know, it's all kind of tied together nicely for what I'm here to um, work out in this world. And I think that's true for all of us. You know, we we come into this world as these pure, beautiful spirits, pure souls, and we have 
a design and we have a plan of something that we're going to live through in this life. Ideally, and I know it's not always true, I work with a lot of people who have experienced a lot of abuse in their lives, in their childhoods especially, and so ideally, we're delivered into the hands of parents who love and care for us and who want the best possible life for us. And it's hormonally, when a woman gives birth, you have the hormones of oxytocin and vasopressin that are released, this immense love, this this incredible love that bonds a mother and child. And also that vasopressin, that innate drive to guide and protect this child with, you know, to put your life on the line to protect this child. And yet, the adult that is loving this child, that wants nothing more than the best for this child, that will do everything to guide and protect this child, has been deeply wounded. Because nobody gets out of this life unscathed. This is what happens in lives. We have wounds, and it's a part of it. It's the truth, right? It's it's a part of the reality. We become wounded. It makes us tough or it makes us fragile. We take on beliefs about the world that are not always aligned with the divine reality of the pure spirit. And what we end up viewing the world, the way that we end up viewing the world is through the lenses that have been clouded by our experiences and our wounds, and we develop beliefs and personas that basically we take on in order to survive as best we can and to get by in this world, and then from through all of those clouds and all of those colorations and shades, we give the best guidance that we know how to give is we pass on things that have been passed on to us and then put our experiences on top of that and then pass that down and more experience on top of that and pass that down and pass that down. And even the most well-intentioned, well-meaning words of wisdom and advice intended to protect this child intended to help this child to prosper and have the best a better life than what we have right our parents parents always want the children to have better lives than what they had and even with that intention even in the most ideal there are shades of the lives that have been lived before and all that has compounded throughout the generations and the lifetimes, and all of that gets passed down. And, you know, on the one hand, it passes down more wounding, and on the other hand, it's a divine orchestration that gives us whatever is needed for us to work out what we're here to work out in this lifetime, what we're here to learn, what we're here to grow from, what we're here to... to um, to even even to give, right? Because from our deepest wounding comes that from which that which we are are uh, able to give and help others comes our deepest service. So, in your life, no doubt by now, you've probably recognized that there's been some guidance given to you, well intentioned probably given to you very passionately as if, you know, your life is going to depend on this, something you really took to heart. And by now you've recognized that, you know, maybe that was not the best thing for me. I'm hanging on to this belief because maybe for the person who gave it to you or the person who gave it to them or them or them, maybe for that lineage, The life did depend on it. But today in your life, where your circumstances are unique to you, at this point that's just holding you back. And you feel some passion in you or some destiny to fulfill as a part of your journey. 
and this feels like a straitjacket or something that has just kept you from the joy, from the fulfillment, from being able to live and breathe fully into your human experience that you are meant to have on this planet Earth. So in today's prayer and healing circle, we'll come into our prayer and healing circle and we'll start our meditation and I'll invite you to just call forth the energies from these beliefs, anything that may have been transferred to you energetically through your lineage, through your caretakers, through whoever may have advised you, well-meaning or otherwise, anything that you've taken on, I'll invite you to offer that into the center of the circle. And any of the patterning that has made its way into your personal psyche, into your energy body, into your consciousness, and we'll offer all of that to the center of the circle for healing. And then we'll call on the true guidance. And we'll call on the truth, the divine truth. And help to repattern and realign your belief systems and your consciousness to the divine reality that is going to, by its nature, Touch into that spark inside of you to awaken and enliven you to live into and to be the divine essence that you are created to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and come into our prayer and healing circle. We'll just come together. Let's all come together, sitting side by side, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, knee to knee, coming together in our circle. In the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. As we come together, sitting side by side, creating the container of our beautiful circle. And let's take a full and gentle breath. And as you exhale, let your heart center that funnel of energy that extends from the front of your heart space. Let's let that come to face the center of our circle. So we bring our hearts together as one. And from our hearts, let's call on our source. In the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate, we call on you. We call on you directly. We ask you to please send all of your intermediaries, your angels of healing, your prophets, your guides, your teachers, your helpers, your healers, and all who are here to help us and guide us along this human journey. The journey of evolution for our souls. We call on you. We ask you to please send your essence of pure divine light. Anur. Just imagine, perceive, feel this stream of pure divine light as it streams into the center of our circle, filling all of our circle with this pure divine light. And as this fills our circle, as your heart is facing into the circle, just begin to breathe in through your heart center, through that funnel at the front of your heart space. Breathe in and breathe in this vibration of this pure divine light right into the center of your heart space. Breathing this in. And as you exhale, relax. 
release and let your heart space become soft. Allowing this flow of light to move in and out of your heart space with your inhale and your exhale. And as you exhale, just let any of the excess clutter that we take on, let's let this be a washing and cleansing of the heart. Let any of that excess clutter that may be hanging out in your heart space from your day or your week, let's let that be washed into the center of our circle, into the depths of the divine ocean, of this pure essence of divine light, where it can be cleansed, purified, healed, transmuted. Trust in the angels and the prophets and the guides and the helpers and the healers and all who are here to help and guide and support our process. Calling on this essence of pure divine light that streams into the center of our circle. Continue to breathe this in through your heart space with each breath, taking it in deeper deeper into your heart center and letting yourself uh, letting that breath open up your heart space and as you exhale relax release and soften and let this vibration be absorbed into the core of your body into all of your tissues and fluids and in your air absorbed into all of you and circulated throughout all of your body to every cell of your body as every cell of your body carries consciousness, let's invite every cell of your body to turn to face this pure vibration of divine light, to open, to breathe it in, to receive it, to allow the consciousness from every cell of your body to be cleansed, to be bathed, to be showered in this pure vibration of this pure essence of divine light. And call on our source in the name of the one most merciful ever compassionate we call on you for your pure essence of unconditional love and let's just imagine perceive feel this vibration of pure unconditional love streaming into the center of our circle Unconditional love and the passionate love. Al wadud al ishq. The love of passion and purpose. And as we feel this streaming into the center of our circle along with this vibration of pure divine light, again breathe this in through your heart space. Breathing this into your heart center, letting it fill your heart and carry you deeper and deeper into your heart space with each breath, with each inhale. And as you exhale, relax, release, and soften. Allow your heart to be cleansed, to be purified. And let all of your tissues absorb this vibration of divine light and unconditional love, passionate love of love itself. The love of love. As you exhale, let yourself, your conscious body, lean back toward the front of your spine. Just rest into your vertical core, this life force cord that runs through your body from the top of your head down through your base. Let yourself rest into that and be showered in this essence of pure divine light, unconditional love, passionate love, love of love itself. And in the name of the one we call on you, we ask you directly for your pure essence, of the eternal compassion the existence of divine compassion that is the soup we swim in. It is the bridge between the worlds. So it gives us love and understanding and connection. And 
And just imagine, feel, perceive this vibration of eternal compassion that exists beyond our realm of time and space is what we mean by eternal. And again, breathe this in through your heart space, letting it fill all of the core of your being with this vibration of divine light, unconditional love, eternal compassion. As you exhale, relax, release, and soften. Invite every cell to turn to face this vibration of divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion to open and receive, to be cleansed, to be washed, to receive, to be carried through your own heart, through your own core, through your own cellular consciousness, to return to the pure vibration that is your divine essence that essence of divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion, your deepest truth. I want to invite your conscious body to drop into your physical space, really drop into your physical body, occupy the space you live in. Take a seat into your physical seat. And let your energy feel your energy really make contact with the chair beneath you or whatever is beneath you. Feel gravity holding you and supporting you. And the space beneath you supporting you. Rest into it. Rest into your body. Feel your energy move through your hips, through your pelvis, through your legs, your knees your calves and shins, your ankles, your feet, and your toes. And feel it moving all the way through the bottoms of your feet and into the earth. Your beautiful essence of your spirit, completely integrated into your physical form and grounded onto our beautiful planet Earth. Embodying the light the love, the compassion that you are, that you are here to embody in this world and allowing that to resonate and vibrate within you and emanate from you. Yahok, divine truth. And take a full, gentle breath as you settle in. And I want to invite you now for all of those words of wisdom and guidance or misguidance as the case may be, all of those that are no longer serving you at this point in your journey, perhaps they did at one time, but any that's not serving you anymore, Offer those into the center of our circle, to the prophets, to the angels, to the guides, to the helpers, the healers, everyone that is here. We place them into the center of this ocean of this pure, divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion to be healed, to be returned, to be transmuted, whatever is in the highest for them. And we trust in those who are here to help and to serve in this moment, we trust in their wisdom, their knowledge. We don't have to know what's going to happen to it. We only have to know that we don't need it anymore and they know what to do. So make that intention for whatever it is that you do not need anymore. Release that. Return it. to where it can be managed appropriately. The true managers of this realm. There is so much support that is available to us in this realm that is in the unseen. 
that sometimes we get glimpses into. And from the glimpses I've had, I can assure you there is far more direction and management and control over our lives that comes from that realm than what we are able to do here. And we can call on them for support at any time and ask for help. And I want to just make the intention that anything that has perhaps a hook into you or a cord into you or a tie into you, that those hooks be unhooked. Let them unhook and put the whole hook and line and everything into the center of the circle. And let that light that's vibrating inside of you and that love and that healing, let that... Heal those places that have been hooked inside of you as these hooks are unhooked and released and returned to the center of our circle. Let that light come into those places and that love and that compassion and begin that healing of your own inner body, your own inner being. In any of those cords, let's release those cords into the center of our circle and let that light begin to heal you. Any of those ties, let them be untied. Take back what is yours and release what is not. And let the healing begin within you as this is released. And with all of this that is into the center of our circle, there is a quality, a divine attribute called Afu. A, F as in Frank, U, W is the transliteration. Afu, Al-Afu. And Al-Afu is the releasing and the... It is the, the quality of, of forgiveness that it like burns away all of the old, all of that energy, it just like burns it to ashes and allows it to be blown away by the wind. So we'll offer the quality of al afu. As if we are burning these in a flame and allowing them to be blown away by the wind and carried away. Al-Afu. Al-Afu. That's A, F as in Frank, U, W. Al-Afu. Al-Afu. Al Afu 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 Let them be Let them be released, let them be carried away. Al Afu, you're still moving. Al Afu, Al Afu, Al Afu, 
Al Afu. Al Afu. So it doesn't mean when we when we release in this way. We still have a memory. We still maintain the lessons that we've received from these events. So we don't have to repeat them again. So they're not gone in that way. But they're no longer a part of our belief system or we have clarity around them. They're not influencing negatively our belief system. And we're not attached to them and they are not attached to us. So we're releasing the attachments. We're letting them be cleansed and purified from our belief systems, from our consciousness, from our personalities, our personas. Letting them be burned away. You can kind of think of it as allowing ourselves to, in a sense, jump timelines, you know, where it's like, oh, this isn't a part of us anymore. What is my life like if this is not a part of my existence? So let yourself kind of like be transformed. Al Afu. Al Afu. Al Afu. So without this guidance. What is the guidance that is going to take its place, if you will? Let's follow this with the quality, the divine attribute of the guide, which is Al-Hadi, which is H-A-D as in David, I, Hadi, Al-Hadi. Al-Hadi is most direct guidance. I'll read a little bit from the Sufi Book of Life by Neil Douglas Klotz. On Al-Hadi, most direct guidance. When you are guided to this pathway, take the opportunity to check in with your highest guidance. Open yourself to hear its clear, direct voice. We are often in need of and yearn for the simple, direct sense of guidance. In a few words, the 20th century Sufi Inayat Khan expressed this prayer. Open our hearts that we may hear. Open our hearts that we may hear thy voice which constantly cometh from within. If all is one, who is there to ask, and who is the asker? Admittedly, when knower and known are one, as the Sufis say, normal prayers seems superfluous. And yet, as we have seen throughout the pathways, there is a part of us that is still growing and evolving. This voice in us needs prayer, affirmation, and practice to get us through the hard times. The best prayer reminds us that love and guidance are always present. As the 18th century Persian Sufi Ahmed Hatif writes, When you begin the journey, take love along for food. Love makes easy what reason makes hard. This is the heart versus the mind in, in, my, in my words. Love makes easy what reason makes hard. So be with your heart, with the quality of al-hadi, let it flow through your mind and your heart. Talk about the beloved, the one, the the source. Talk about the beloved morning and evening. Look out for the beloved at twilight and dawn, even though they tell you a hundred times, no one has seen the one. Keep on until its vision illuminates you. You'll find the beloved located where even the angel Gabriel can't go. Love is the path, the rations, and the goal. 
This pathway invites you to breathe easily with a feeling of devotion and ask for clear guidance. Sometimes you can hear the voice by feeling your breath becoming stronger or your body becoming more alive. Other times you may see an image or a color or even hear a word. If you pick one voice within and consistently hear the voice of the one through it, the messages will continue to get stronger and clearer. This is the quality of Al-Hadi. 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 So let's call on that quality of Al-Hadi, the guide. The most direct guidance. And we feel this vibration coming in. As we, just as we did with the divine light and the unconditional love and the eternal compassion. Let's just call on that vibration of Al-Hadi and let this come in even through the crown, through your crown. And let it stream in through your crown. Letting this vibration resonate into your head space. And to move all the way through you, through that vertical core of your life cord, your life force energy there. Through your vertical core, through your head space, and through your throat, and into your heart. And all the way through, through your solar plexus, and through your belly, and through your base. It's bringing this vibration of Al-Hadi, the most direct guidance. And the way that our minds learn, truly learn, is by observing and responding to the resonance in our subconsciousness in our cellular consciousness and in our inner knowings and in our our gut feelings. So let the mind learn from this vibration as it comes in and trust what comes as you call directly to your source and you ask for the most direct guidance. Al-Hadi. Al-Hadi. And again, let this stream through your crown, through the core of your being, and resonate into your cellular consciousness, resonate into your inner knowing. Al-Hadi. 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 The most direct guidance. We'll call on also the quality of al haq al haq which is the truth, the divine truth. al hadi al haq 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 This is the reality beyond words and concepts. Al Hadi Al Haq, the most direct guidance, the divine truth. Let this stream in through your crown, resonate through the core of your being, enlivening and enlightening and awakening the inner knowing of divine guidance and divine truth. Letting this strengthen the light at your core, the core of your being, and resonate through your body 
to the cellular consciousness, to the consciousness that lives in every cell of your being. Al-Hadi Al-Haq. Al-Hadi Al-Haq. Al-Hadi Al-Haq. Al-Hadi Al-Haq. And Haq is H-A-Q-Q. It's the transliteration. Al Hadi Al Hok 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 And again just breathe this in as you breathe this in. Really let it come into your heart space, and as you exhale, let it move down through your core and into the earth. Al-Hadi, Al-Haq. Breathing in Al-Hadi through your crown and exhaling it through your core, all the way down and through your base. And inhaling all hawk through your heart and down through your base. Al Hadi Al Hawk Al Hadi Al Hawk. Al Hadi Al Hak Allow this vibration of the most direct guidance and the divine truth to resonate through your core and to circulate throughout every part of your being to all parts of your consciousness and your body consciousness, your emotional consciousness, your mental consciousness, your soul consciousness. Al-Hadi, Al-Haq. And let's invite every cell and every part of your being to the depths of your heart and your soul to turn to face this vibration of Al-Hadi, Al-Haq and to open and receive, to be transformed, transmuted, and returned to the divine knowing that was breathed into you that gave you life. Al-Hadi, Al-Haq. Invite every part of you to take this in. Take a full breath, and as you exhale, let it go in even a layer deeper. Al Hadi, Al Haq. Let this resonate with that core essence inside of you that holds the key to your life purpose and fulfillment, what it is that you've come to this body on this planet at this time to learn, to do, to be, to have whatever is destined for your existence. Al Hadi Al Haq. Let this merge with that inner kernel inside of you that holds all of that knowledge and wisdom for you. Al Hadi Al Haq. Let it touch into that depth. Enliven and awaken that part of you 
and let that knowledge resonate throughout all of your being. Al Hadi Al Haq. Al Hadi Al Haq. Al Hadi Al Haq. Al Hadi Al Haq. A deep breath, and again, let's bring your conscious body into your physical space. Really drop in and ground. Take a seat into your physical seat. Take up your own personal space. Exist within the space that you are given to exist in, to live in, to be in, to act from. That's the word be. Be and it is. Kun faya kun. So from here, let's take a minute for gratitude. As this resonates and integrates into your core, you may continue to shift for a bit. But let's just offer gratitude to our source, to the angels, the healers, the helpers, the guides, the prophets, all who are here to help on our journey. And as you allow your heart to feel the gratitude, it actually opens you more widely and allows more of this to be received and anchored into your consciousness. Let yourself feel the gratitude. Deep breath. And as you exhale, again, drop into your physical space. You can take a minute and wiggle your toes, stretch out your toes and your feet, circle your ankles and feel your presence all the way into your feet. You can stretch out your arms, circle your wrists and stretch out your hands and your fingers. Feel your presence all the way into your fingertips. This is a meditation that we do and embody and allow it to transform us and carry us through life on a day-to-day with this vibration, with this knowledge to be the change we wish to be in the world and the change we wish to see in the world. This is not a meditation we go away for and then come back into body from. This is one we do in body and then carry with us forward from this day. This knowledge is inside of you and will carry with you as you move forward. And for that, we give thanks. And at this point, I'll open for Q&A. If you have a um, something you'd like to share, if you're on the phone, you can press star 2 or you can type into the web form while you're doing that. If you're listening to the recording, I want to um, thank you for listening and invite you to join us on Sundays at 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. U.S. Pacific Time. You can find information for joining us live at joyfullylivingwellness.com. And while you're there, you can pick up your copy of the 10 Spiritual Principles of Our Human Existence, which will give you just a basic 10 principles that this work is uh, founded on. It's a one sheet that you can print out and um, have for yourself to help to remind you on a regular basis. You can print it out multiple times, put it everywhere where you'll see it to remind you of the truth of who and what you are and what this life journey is about. To help to offset all of those things that we're bombarded with constantly throughout our lives that are telling us other than the misguidance, if you will. 
So you're welcome to get your copy of that and join us live. I do hope to see you. For everyone, we're, uh, let's see, tomorrow is April 1st. April April is, uh, there's two observances in April. It's uh, Sexual Assault Awareness Month and Child Abuse Prevention Month. And so um, just look for some things coming out. I'm going to be holding a, a class for the month of April. That'll be a live class that we can do by Zoom that will um, offer some opportunities to use sound, breath, movement, and just kind of all of the all of the the tools in the tool belt to help to release trauma from the body, to release the memories from the physical body that and that have a hold and a grip on the nervous system that um, keep the effects of trauma held in the body and affecting our lives from day to day. So um, whether you have experienced abuse directly or you know whatever that may be for you, you're welcome to join us for that class. Look for information on my website or sign up for the email list if you're not already on the email list so that you'll get an email about it coming out soon. We'll be starting in um, not this week but next week with that class. So I want to um, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for being here again, and let me stop the recording and go to the Q&A.